And uh, we've been doing a series of candidate forums here uh, during this election season on the News at Noon show. And today we're turning our attention to a uh, uh, open seat in the Stearns County uh, Commissioner's Race for District 1. We have both candidates here in the studio with me. We have uh, uh, former State Senator Terrell Clark here. Terrell, good afternoon. It's good to be here. Thanks, Jim. Yeah, thanks for coming in. Also, uh, former State Representative uh, Steve Gottwald also here. Steve, good afternoon to you as well. Hi, Jim. How are you doing? Nice to have you both uh, here. Thanks for coming in. So let's talk a little bit about uh, what we're talking about here. So uh, Stearns County Commissioner for District 1 how do you guys describe it? it? Looks to me, I've got the map in my hands here. The north half of St. Cloud, including the downtown, is that the best way you're right? Describing it's it? most of North St. Cloud, but it also contains the area of St. Cloud State University over through Lake George and the current Tech High School neighborhoods. I like to say it's a it's a district of neighborhoods. It really is. If you look across, it's Westwood, Kensington. You've got Pantown. You've got Centennial. Uh, you got Mill Creek. You've got, uh, as you mentioned, down through the downtown, the St. Cloud Hospital neighborhood. Tech High School neighborhood. Uh, so it's really a, it's a district of neighborhoods. It's also it. kind of a, a district of iconic features of our community, whether it's the VA Medical Center, uh, St. Cloud Technical and Community College, uh, SCSU, the hospital, um, our courthouse. You know, if you think about some of our, our our bigger our high employers, schools, the school, high schools, yeah, it's industrial quite, park, quite a quite an array of 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 who we are. Right, absolutely. So Dwayne Merrick currently has the seat, but he announced uh, early this year that he was retiring, which opened up a, a seat for for this. Uh, you folks uh, both have lived in this district for a while. So for those who don't know you, and you're both pretty well known names, uh, we'll start with you, Steve Gottwald. Uh, it's been a while since you were a state representative. When when was the last time you served down at the, the state capitol? Well, Hall? state representative. Uh, up to 2013 and then also served on the St. Cloud City Council here for sure. nine years. So, so what have you been doing since 2013? Get us caught today on Steve Gottwald. Um, well, I worked for Center for Diagnostic Imaging for a while. So I worked in healthcare for a number of years. Uh, privately worked for Central Minnesota Group Health Plan here. Uh, going back, worked for Coburn's Incorporated as uh, Communications and Consumer Affairs Director. Uh, but worked for uh, Center for Diagnostic Imaging coming away from the the legislature, and then started my own consulting business, uh, dealing primarily in business communications and consumer affairs consulting, uh, helping businesses with that factor for success, uh, working with the Professional Home Care Coalition in the state of Minnesota on government affairs issues and trying to help them kind of strategize about how to how to do a better job for home care and home services. We know how important home and community-based services are. Um, and then also some benefits consulting as well. So I put together my own uh, my own business. It's been very successful. Been uh, very pleased with that. Um, more recently, I ran the Minnesota Rural Health Association. Very important, trying to raise awareness about the issues impacting rural Minnesota, uh, in per particularly in the areas of health where we have so many shortages and so many needs. And uh, uh, and then have moved on now to work with the. Uh, the Minnesota Association of County Health Plans. So it's a unique model delivering services uh, to low-income people in some counties of rural Minnesota. Um, deep honor to work with those people doing some tremendous work, uh, meeting needs that are county-based, which is kind of cool because it informs my my desire to serve here in Stearns County. Sure, absolutely. So, uh, Terrell Clark, uh, you uh, used to be down at uh, St. Paul representing uh, District 14, right, for the state Senate? Right. Uh, so when when did you leave the Senate? I left in 2011, and for those who don't remember, I, I represented all of St. Cloud, including the 12 precincts, because it's only 12 precincts of St. Cloud that are in this district. Um, Way Park, uh, Haven, uh, Township, uh, St. Augusta, and Rockville. Um, I won a special election in 2005, the Christmas election, as it were, when uh, then County Commissioner Larry Haas also was elected to the state house. Um, and I, I served until uh, 2011, right at the beginning, the way the terms ended, you end up in, in January. Right. So then what have you been doing uh, since then? What uh, get us caught up today? Yeah, and I was going to say, if you don't mind, I just because I think we both have lived here a long time. And in my almost 30 years, it's been um, putting to skill to use my skills and things like being a senior law project attorney. Uh, for legal services, uh, representing people in health care uh, issues. As an attorney, I've coordinated the Community Response Task Force. I was one of the founders for Habitat for Humanity here. I think a lot of people know me through uh, leading a lot of initiatives for seniors and veterans and 
uh, for our children. Uh, but since I, I got out, I actually was coordinating um, a, both a national and then a very much a regional effort with the Blue Green Alliance working to create good paying jobs here in home, the things that can't be outsourced overseas. So a lot that relates to infrastructure, broadband, how were we helping big companies, including mining companies, become more energy efficient? So some of those putting to, to practice unlikely suspects coming together. I've done some college teaching at SCTCC, and I served as a dean in uh, sciences, uh, the social sciences, hard sciences, uh, math and technology, which has been great. And I do some consulting as well. Um, right now, the focus that I have there has been on helping organizations and states uh, that are, are helping people with intellectual and developmental disabilities become independent. And honestly, from a business model, helping them move to managed care. So kind of providing some of that that technical assistance that relates to the business model. Okay. We've got just a couple minutes before we go into break. So I'm just going to ask you uh, for quick answers here. How is it running for county commissioner? How is it different than running for uh, state, uh, state representative or, or, or state senator? Is it, does it feel different this time around, Steve, for you? Or is it a race is a race? Well, it's it's more familiar for me. I've run for local office here, city council, uh, several times in the past, and there are things that are different about it. For one, county government is not well known to people. That's what I'm finding, and so it tends to be kind of the poor stepchild in terms of uh, attention. You know, legislative races, congressional races, governor races all seem to get a lot more attention. Um, but I've served on the Strengths County Public Health Advisory Task Force, worked with the county for years, and have addressed these issues of you know human services, public safety, transportation, land use planning. Uh, uh, and and that sort of stuff for a number of years. And so my familiarity with those issues and with the county and with the community I've lived in for 34 years, uh, this district in particular, raised my family across it, that makes this kind of a kind of an easy fit. I've, I've enjoyed getting out on the streets. We've door knocked over 2,000 houses. Myself, personally, our campaign's got to about 4,500 so far. And so just getting out and meeting the people, talking with them about the issues that are important to them, there's just no substitute for it, and I, I really enjoy it. And so in that sense, it's been very familiar. How about for you too, Terrell? You know, he's right, probably. A lot of people probably don't know who their county commissioner is, so you have to get your name out there and, <laughs> yeah, and talk well, a little bit about that. Well, and it's interesting for me. I've actually been interested in this since the mid-'90s, I, when I was never going to run for office, like most people. I had no interest in running for office. But what I really liked, because I had coordinated uh, this community response task force where it had four of our local counties – we were dealing with devolution, with some public services, and it was about how are we bringing transportation, health care, economic development, education, corrections, all of these different pieces together, public, private organizations coming together. And that was when I really learned to appreciate what the, the county does. So, yeah, a lot of what I hear from people is – Boy, I didn't know how much it impacts environmental services, transportation, the things that keep people up at night, you know, it's the senior they're worried about, a child who's in need of protection, all those things the county has a role in. And for me, because I've been so much a part of partnering, that's kind of my way of doing things. You got to do things with other people. Um, it's a, it's a very natural fit. And so a lot of what I get at the door is, we're glad you're running. We remember you. You were our senator. We're glad to have you. When you're asking about how is it different, I have to admit I, this will probably be the most expensive county race because people don't usually do some of the things that that we might both be doing. But to me, it all goes back to listening to people, to our voters, about what they want to do to see things better. All right. We're going to take a quick break. We have another uh, world and uh, local news update, and then we're going to hear more from uh, Steve Gottwald and Terrell Clark uh, after the news break. 